How to get your Mac ready for PC gaming. First, you need to download and install Whiskey. Visit the Whiskey website as shown to download the application. Follow the on-screen instructions, select the options to install the pre-built tools, then click OK to proceed. You can also refer to the Whiskey installation guide to create your first bottle and name it Window 10. Next, connect your Xbox or PlayStation controller to your Mac. I'll guide you through the process of installing your game controller first. Select the Open Control Panel. Then, select Game Controllers. You need to take note that Whiskey will not detect anything until you set up the controller driver. First, select Open Wine Configuration to set up the Game Controller driver. Go to the Libraries tab. Add the three drivers as shown on the screen. Type to search for the drivers, then select Add. Next, select Edit and ensure that all three drivers are set to start with built-in and then native. Now, go back to Open Control Panel and then select Game Controllers. Your controller should now be detected by Whiskey. When you go to the Test Joystick tab, Whiskey should detect your controller's joystick and buttons. Restart your Mac to ensure Whiskey detects your controller, even if your Mac has already recognized it. First, download and install Steam app for Window. Now, open Steam through Whiskey. Install your game through Steam during the process. The necessary Windows files to run the game will be installed as well. Steam should detect your controller if it has been set up correctly. Now, let's get ready to play Elden Ring. I almost forgot. After installing Elden Ring, you need to rename the game files first. First, select Open C Drive. Then go to the Game Path. Program Files. Steam. Steam Apps. Common. Elden Ring, then Game. Then, follow the Whiskey Guide to rename the game files as needed. Don't forget to adjust your max screen resolution before starting the game. Now, let's get ready to play Elden Ring. Adjust the game settings for optimal frames per second FPS performance. Don't use full screen, select borderless to match your screen resolution. Remember to adjust this before starting the game. 